Iran has suddenly been pushed into election season after its president Ibrahim Raisi died in a helicopter crash earlier this month. The process to fill in the leadership vacuum starts today, which is seen particularly important as the president will be the likely successor to the supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who is 85 years of age and reportedly in poor health. Once seen as a possible successor to Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran's aging ultimate decision maker, Raisi's sudden death, has triggered a race among hardliners to influence the selection of Iran's next leader. According to reports, the Supreme Leader seeks a fiercely loyal president in the upcoming June 28th election to run the day-to-day -day operations of the country. Registration for candidates will open on Thursday, which is said to be open till the 3rd of June, although it is only the beginning of the process that will see hopefuls wetted by the Guardian Council. It is a hardline watchdog body that disqualifies candidates without always publicizing the reason. The council will publish the list of qualified candidates on the 11th of June. A report citing insiders and analysts claim that the process is being undertaken to ensure the winner is a die-hard loyalist to the Supreme Leader. It is, likely to up, it, it is likely the upcoming election will be dominated by hardliners with outlooks similar to his. Now, according to reports, potential candidates who will be in the fray are Interim President Mohammad Mukbir, former Parliament Speaker and Hamene advisor Ali Larijani, who was barred from standing in the 2021 presidential race, and they have been named as possible candidates. Along with them is Parvez Fatah, a former Guards member who heads an investment fund linked to the leader, Saeed Jalili, and a former chief of a nuclear negotiator who in 2001 ran Khamenei's office for four years. That's what's happening in Iran. Of course, we're tracking that closely right here on Beyond World is One.